Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to push the project to the GitHub repository so that you can download. I will show you how I am going to do it. So when you create any Laravel application and you are using Visual Studio Code, what you can do is you can go to the source control panel here and you can create your repository here. So if you click on this button, it will just create the initial repository. You just select the folder, which is this folder, and then you say initialize repository it will just create a few files here one uh, dot get which is a hidden file and then get ignore i think it was already here so what this is going to do is it is going to keep track of every changes these are all the changes we have so what we are going to do is commit it commit means you just save it as a message and say you have done these um, changes so this is for us this is the initial commit we just started so if you want to commit just press control and enter it will commit that one so you might get an alert i think in visual studio code because i said that do not show me the alert every time i am using control enter so now you have it and the next thing you need to do is to push it or uh, as you can see this option here pull you have pull and you have push the pull will just uh, uh, take everything from the github repository if someone else is uh, working on the same project and push will uh, just put all your changes to the github so what i'm going to do is i'm firstly i should create a repository uh, for this application i'm going to the github repo and from here this is the new interface for the beta if yours is different just click on this icon here and create a new repository from here what you can do is you can give a name to your repository and then it will give you a code for example from uh, for our application of course this is lera start and this is a nice name for this one and then you can give it a description we we'll say a starter admin for laravel i will change it in future uh, of course i will give some better description then you have a public and a private repository if you select the private uh, the you should pay for them of course and the thing is if you want to store your private repositories what you can do is you can use Bitbucket. Bitbucket is the same. They give the same service. You can use the same uh, almost uh, comments. But the thing is, they, they will let you uh, upload unlimited uh, private repositories. So for GitHub, I cannot because you when you first create your account, you have only one private uh, repository and then you cannot. So what I'm going to do is just create the repository. It will not just create some more stuff for us. You can just say initialize. A readme file for us we don't so uh, if you come down here you have a few things the few options for this one you say that you create a new repo um, project from your command line you can go to your application and then writing this one and if you have an existing repository you can do this one so for us we don't need to have a readme file we don't need to do the first commit all you need to do is running this command in your application so I'll take this one, I will come to the command line here and here I will open the built-in so you can press control tilde here and it will open the terminal or the gate here and I will run the command now what it is going to do is it is going to give an origin to the this github repo now the origin is set what else you can do is go to the come in here and copy the second command from here and then again come here you will paste it and enter what it, it is going to do is it is going to push all of these changes you have all the projects from here to the github repo you have here after that you can refresh your page and you have all your changes that you see here to your github repository the next thing you need to know is that if you open the git uh, ignore file here it is not going to upload your node module because there are a lot of module from JavaScript here. It is going to go to the public it, uh, on folder of the hot plus not a storage, any storage, not any key, no, not any vendor, vendor which include all your composer files, not any idea, VS Code, Vagrant and all of those stuff. It is going to ignore those files and it will upload others. As you can see, it has finished. Now if I come to your um, repository, refresh it, we must have our application and we have by default a readme file here which is by i think no we don't have it 
some level application has it so we can do is we can add a readme file and here is the description and then you can give it a this is the title or the description and then you can give it like readme file create it the thing is like now we have all the changes here and you can just come here and clone the project to your desktop and you can see all the changes every time you bring a changes it will be recorded as a commit and if you have a problem feel free to ask on the issue section you have pull request which you can add a new feature you can fork it and you can add new feature and you can just pull it and then i will see if your feature is better i can merge it with the master uh, temp the master files here so this is it for the basic stuff and so now you have access it uh, in the uh, description and the video description i will give it a link so that you can download and when you are working along i will share the full uh, source code so that you can use them in future so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video thank you for watching